So these were the two forces which are observed in our day to day life. Gravity is also observed like this. Electromagnetic force is also observed in our day to day life, like I said, in the muscular forces, spring forces, frictional forces, or other stuff like that. But there are other two forces which are existing inside the universe, which are existing inside the nature, and those two forces are called as the nuclear forces. Those are called as the nuclear forces nuclear forces there are two nuclear forces these are of two kind one is the strong nuclear force and another is the weak nuclear force so for example take an atom this is an atom atomic nuclei and around it there is an electron revolving around it like this so this is nucleus we know the nu atom is stable particle atom is stable particle and between protons since nucleus is positive charged and electron is negative charged there must be a force of attraction between these two which is giving rise to the centripetal force around the nucleus or uh, in the quantum mechanics you will come across another stuff which is given by Planck, Bohr, Rutherford, some other physicists and some other pupil so you will come across those very concepts but here the electromagnetic force must exist and inside the nucleus you see only two kind of things either there are neutrons or there are protons these two kind of things are present inside the nucleus so that means nucleus has two charged particles one is new neutron neutron is neutral that means neutral neutral charged particle neutral particles which are which have no charge and another kind of particle is proton which are positive charged so that means overall nucleus is positive charged then if there are inside the nucleus there are two protons proton and proton there will be a repulsion isn't it there will be a repulsion between the two protons then how does atom is stable here comes for rescue the nuclear force here comes the for rescue the nuclear force which is the strong nuclear force for the basic elementary idea i will give you uh, we will discuss here the first to the third kind of fundamental force which is the strong force strong nuclear force strong force so this means this kind of force is existing between existence between the nucleons between the nucleons upon studying the advanced physics you will actually see that the forces are not exactly between the two nucleons there is further there is further division uh, of the fundamental particles so on the basis of that you will come across those very concepts in advanced physics in advanced mechanics or advanced physics so don't worry about that i'm just giving an idea rough idea about the strong forces so this this strong force exists between the nucleons like between proton and proton or proton and neutron or neutron and neutron itself even though these are neutral char neutral particles but still then strong force is existing between neutron and neutron for these various theories were given like Masson theory by Yukawa this was the first theory which was suggesting that there is a kind of particle the pi meson which is being shared between two protons or between two pro one proton and one neutron exchanging of them will result in a force but that is some advanced kind of stuff so don't worry about this very theory these all will be dealt with due course of time so for now you have to remember that strong forces this has this range of action inside the nucleus between the nucleons 
so it exists inside the nuclear domain this is nucleus and its range I can see range or domain for now I will use the term domain it has the domain which is of the order of 10 to the power minus 15 meters 10 to the power minus 15 meters such a small 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 size so its range so that that is the reason that is the reason we are not able to observe any strong force in our day-to-day -day life because its range or its domain is only f confined to nuclear dimensions with a 10 to the power minus 15 furthermore it was suggested that there the these protons and neutrons are not having the fundamental force of strong force as the fundamental but these are further divided into some particles not divided i can say these are first further constituted of some further particles which are fundamental in nature and those videos called as the quarks for example i will take a proton this is a proton proton is further constituted of three particles up up and down up up down particle these are called as quarks up quark down quark up quark when these these kind of particles are held together and these are held together by gluons these are advanced topics so don't worry about this just have a flavor of this topic don't go so deep if you don't understand anything out of it right now no need no worries it will in the subsequent classes in the advanced physics you will come across these very stuff this very stuff so proton is constituted of quarks like up quark up quark and down quark forms one proton similarly neutron it is formed by up down down so this is up another there is uh, in, instead of up there is down in case of neutron and down up down down constitutes a neutron up up down constitutes and further theory says that this is the strong force which is existing which is existing between these quarks that is the strong force so basically whatever it is for you just now remember that these forces are existing between the nucleons because this is a nucleon itself whether it is existing inside it inside the nucleus or existing between the nucleus between the nucleons but it is the fundamental because it can't be further divided into some other force there is no force behind this strong force this is one of the fundamental force and its range is 10 to the power minus 15 even one thing more strong force is 100 times 100 times stronger stronger than electromagnetic force this is 100 times stronger than the electromagnetic force so you have to remember just an elementary idea about this very f uh, this very stuff another force which is fundamental in nature the last one which is the weak force i will give just an elementary idea because these are the complex topics in the advanced physics uh, you had to remember and you had to understand very much high uh, concepts about it first of all to understand the reality behind all these forces so i'm here just giving you the idea where and where are these applicable where does this uh, these forces exist in exact cases in actuality